In this episode of The Relationship Report, a 31-year-old State Farm insurance agent called Kevin Samuels to seek advice about dating a high-value man while leveling up. However, Kevin gave her a reality check that she wasn't prepared for. The conversation took a turn when Kevin discovered the low caliber of men she was entertaining. Guys, stay tuned until the end because you don't want to miss this Kevin Samuels classic. Let's watch. What's going on? I'm great. I'm great. How you doing? Uh, if I may, I do have a question for you. All right. So in my past, I have been an individual that has been married, had relationships, and they did not work out simply because I wasn't willing to work anything out after um, their behaviors influenced my decision. Now, at this time, I am much more mature understand I made decisions out of being an emotional wreck and I really wasn't in the right mental space so I call myself leveling up now at this time I do have suitors and individuals that tries to meet me but I don't entertain them my question would be should I date while leveling up or should I just wait till I get to the top and open up my eyes and then? What do, when you say level up, what does that mean? Well, it's just being um, more mature on the levels that I wasn't before. I realized I made a lot of mistakes because of my maturity level. No, no. When you say you're leveling, you asked the question, should I date now while I'm leveling up or should I wait till I've completely leveled up and then open the floodgates? What is leveling up? Leveling up to me, okay, so where I am at this point in my life, I am on a verge of getting approved to open up my insurance agency. Okay. I don't want to, and that to me is, is huge. That's me leveling up financially, but also establishing myself. Okay. Um, I feel at the moment dating would be a distraction. So are you I talking? Are you talking about uh, for like State Farm Farmers or Allstate? Or are we talking about what? Well, State Farm. Farm. Okay, let's go ahead and play it forward. Once you level up, what city are you in? I will be in Chesapeake, Virginia. Okay, Chesapeake, Virginia. And what were, what's your goal annual income? Um, ultimately, it, what's the time frame are you giving me right now? Uh, how old are you? I'm 31. Uh, four years. And four years, I plan to be making about 450K. All right. And then you would want a man earning how much? I would like a man earning, if not uh, where I am, um, exceeding my income. How tall are you? I'm 5'2". How much do you weigh? 130. Best size? 6. Okay, 5'2", 136. And one do you have any children? I have two. Okay. Uh, and on a scale of 1 to 10, what would most people say you, you look like? <laughs> I would say a 9 to 10. Okay, so... You're telling me you're a, a woman who's either nine or 10 in the face, dress size six, um, and you're gonna be, your goal is 450,000, so almost half a million in four years. Um, but you have two children, boy or girl, or both, What what is it? Two boys. And the ages? 10 mm -hmm. and one. Same father? No. Were you married to either father? No. And but you've been married. I have. Okay. You want to fill that in for me? Uh, were you well, what, after, Were you married early? Uh, I, well, after I um had my first son, his father and I broke up. Like after um he was six months okay and i met my ex-husband six months after that we were together for um eight years we were married five of those eight years um 
got divorced and then hopped right back into a relationship and had another kid. And I realized, uh, a cycle right, so let me, let me ask you, so let me ask you the, your, the, the first child's father, is he alive? He is. Second child's father alive? He is. Are either of those men high earners? Uh, they make under a hundred K. I would say so they're not, not high, my life. So they're not high earners. So they're not high earners. Okay. No. So you had a child out of wedlock married, then another child out of wedlock. I did. All right. Uh, and your ultimate question is all this le leveling up. Should you date while you're leveling up or should you just wait till you get to the level and then open the floodgates? Right. There are no, there's not going to be any floodgates. Why do you say that? You'll be 35 years old with a six year old and a teenager, both by two lower earning men. Why would a man who's making a half a million plus want to deal with that? Why would he want to deal with it? I yeah. think it just depends on the perspective that he's taking. Um, well, give, I don't me the, have give, any... give me the perspective that you think a man who's making a half a million plus would take to choose to deal with that. Well, see, I I would say that I don't have any baby daddy drama, right? Um, neither do women, pretty, neither do no, women with no, hold on, hold on. Neither do women with no children. That is true. But so, I, I think based off you, the strength but of, but still, but, okay. So listen, listen, I need you to understand. This is just going to slowly step through this. You have no baby daddy drama. Neither do women with no children who are your age and younger. Okay, so not having baby daddy drama hap is, an, is a given for men making a half million plus. We don't deal with baby daddy drama. We expect not to have it, but you have the babies. Are the men taking financial care of their children? They are. Fully. Yes, when they have are, them. And now, now, when they have them, are they on child support? No. Then you're expecting a man to come in and pay for other men's children. That's what you're asking. What? Oh, don't listen to what you're asking. This is what you're asking. A $500,000 a year man to come in and put your children in a house big enough for you your two boys, him. Are you planning on having any more children? No. So he doesn't even get a child from you. So he has to take care of two, um, two, two other men, not one, two other men's children. And he has to come in and provide a bedroom for you, a bedroom for one boy, a bedroom for another. So that's three bedrooms, a guest room, so a five bedroom house that you will be working on, granted, but he still has to pay into that. He has to pay mortgage, light, utilities, all this for another man's children. Why are they not on child support paying for those boys? They're not on child support because uh, we all have an agreement. Um, I, I pay I for get, things. I, I get it. But things. another man is not a part of that. And why would another man come in and see this is what i mean see a lot of you ladies never think about it from a man's standpoint it's all what you want why would i go out and make a half million dollars a year to come into your situation with two boys uh let's let's just play it forward let's say it's somebody like myself um would i be allowed to uh whoop the children you'll be allowed to whoop the kids yeah no, you will be allowed to discipline them. Hold on, absolutely. hold on, hold on. No, okay. Uh, but would I have to put food on the table for the children? Yes. 
So I have all the responsibility of a biological father, but I can only discipline them. So do you think a child would, do you think a child would be able to figure out that I'm basically, there are things I cannot do, even though I have all the financial responsibility? Well, this do you is think a child, thing. do you think a child would be able to figure out that stepdad can't whoop me? That's a yes, no question, ma'am. They will figure it out. Right. So stepdad can't whoop me. Stepdad can't whoop me. Mama ain't going to give the stepdad a kid. The stepdad has to pay for me. Now, real dad don't have to pay anything for me, but stepdad has to pay like real dad does. Then stepdad has to interact with dad one, dad two, because those two men have children in stepdad's house. Are you starting to, are you starting to understand why there will be no floodgates? Why would a man who's making $500,000 plus a year volunteer for this duty? Because you're a nine or a 10 in the face and you're a size six. Let's say you're beautiful. Let's say you just fall out fine. You're gorgeous. Let's say your pussy is like heaven. Then what? See, I think that I'm not the individual that doesn't have anything to offer but a cute face. And what do you have to offer to overcome just those very few things I said? The man cannot discipline the children, so he has responsibility. Do you understand that no man wants to have children in his house from another man? Do you understand that? I do understand that. Do you understand that no man wants to have children in his house that he cannot control? Do you understand that? I do understand. Do you understand no man wants to have children in his house that he cannot discipline? I do understand that. Then why do you think whatever you have that bring to the table overcomes those three very, those three very, those three things that are extremely difficult and we've only scratched the surface? There are 2 million more black women than black men. Why would a, a high earning black man pick this? This is part of this level up stuff. This level up stuff has told you women that all you have to do is go to the bank of men and you could just make a, put your ATM card in and, and get out of Henry. No, ma'am, you can't. That's why Shira and none of these other women can show you any receipts of women actually marrying well-to-do men and talk well, about see, it. it is and in the industry that i'm in and the relationships that i've built the people that i'm around mm -hmm. um this does happen now for me no it, does, it happens that. for it happens for who it happens for white women which you see white women with two children by two different men getting getting a half million dollar man you do You'll be surprised. No, no, ma'am. I, 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 ma'am, do I, do I sound like I don't know? Do you, do I sound like I don't know about the insurance business? No, what I'm saying is. Do I sound like I don't know about the insurance business, ma'am? No, you sound like you're very well grounded. So, so, so let's not play that game. Men who are at district level, who have their own agencies, who's making that kind of money, don't go wife a woman with two kids with two different men that they can't take care of. Ma'am, here's the scenario. You may be attractive, but you have a one year old. Let me let you know, let me let you in on a secret. You've signed yourself up for 17 more years of single. 17 more years of side chick. I'm just gonna give you the bottom line. 10 years, one year. I meet you for the first time. You look good. I want to kick it with you. But I look at your life and say, you got a 10-year-old, an ex-husband, and a one-year-old. This woman makes terrible decisions. I'm not going to co-mingle my finances with you. And then especially when you run down the fact that I can't discipline these children, but you expect me to pay bills for these kids that these other guys ain't paying for? What fool do you think is going to do that? Because you work for State Farm? State Farm? It's not, an, it's not something that's going to do voodoo on somebody. You got 17 more years of single side chick. Guys will tell you stuff to get in your pants, 
but no one is rushing to meet a woman with two kids by two different men. I don't care what kind of money you're making. And that's the life you chose, ma'am. I definitely accept your perspective and I um I ponder this. I really do. And well, that's I, I would say I'm I would say I would say you go look in the chat room or go go ask do you know any men who are making five hundred thousand dollars or more? Do I personally know them, or you want me to ask them in the chat? Do you? Do you? No, no. Do you personally know any men who are business owners making five hundred thousand dollars or more, or just five hundred thousand dollars or more? Do you know any? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, and can and are they? Can you ask them if they'd want this? Okay, see, my initial question was, um, should I entertain my suitors? Maybe, yeah, you should entertain your suitors. Maybe, are, are your suitors offering marriage? Yes, my suitors are offering marriage. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me take you and the kids out. Let me do this. I am not entertaining oh, them. Okay, so I will tell you this. If they're, offering, I want if, they, uh, if they're offering you marriage... When I say they're offering you marriage, hold on, listen. I want to be real clear what I'm saying. Because I know what men say. As a man dropped to one knee and presented a ring and said, will you marry me in public? No. Then it's bullshit. It's all a ploy to get more pussy. No offense, man, but that's what it is. They know what you want to hear. They know what you want to hear. But a man who's serious about this does not talk. Okay. What you're trying to get me to understand and accept is true. Is that a man who is serious about courting and suiting, making a woman his wife talks to her about becoming a wife. No, that man actually courts her. That man actually goes out and buys a ring. That man plans a proposal and proposes in public, possibly using your sons to help him. To make sure this is on your finger to know that you're, he's not playing any games, especially if he has the kind of money and resources because he doesn't have time to play. Have you seen one of those in public? I have not seen a ring in public, but then it don't matter. Then it does not matter, man. When it when it rises to this level in public, then we can talk. Until then, it's pissing in the wind. But I'm not even entertaining them enough to know how far they will go with but so why are you saying that they are suited okay ma'am if you're not entertaining them far enough how can you say they're offering you marriage i have been offered marriage on many occasions how by, how are by, they how are they by offering by you? the individuals i've been in relationships with who what are okay ma'am 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 ma 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 i'm just trying to understand who has offered you marriage and how did they do it? Individ three individuals that I was in a relationship with after my first son, one I married, and they offered me marriage by way of a ring and asking me. But to that's marry not that husband. but that was that was the guy <laughs> okay. Three guys wanted to marry you. And you married one, right? Yes. That was then. Since then, you've had another child. Who is that currently is entertaining you, offering you marriage? No one is offering me marriage. Who is currently discussing marriage with you? One individual that I stopped entertaining because he started to speak on marriage. One individual you stopped seeing brought up the subject of marriage? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yes. And will you... Okay. Maybe we have different definitions of entertaining. Were you guys dating? Yeah, we were we were we were dating. I was entertaining Ma'am his court. Were you, you Ma'am? Were you intimate? Yes. 
So a man that you were dating and were intimate with, just float how do you, how do you offer marriage or, or bring up the subject? Uh, and discussion of our goals, uh, planning, future. Uh, Where was the discussion? Was it over dinner? Was just hype with, as a night would like to? Uh, this discussion was held more than once. Um, okay. A few times. So, uh, like so, I said, like I said, ma'am, like I said five minutes ago, you're dating a man, you're having sex with a man. He knows how to get a hold of you. And if you're serious about marrying you, he'd have produced a ring. He's just trying to keep his pocket pussy going. You can call it what you want to. But the way you're, what you're making this sound is you got all these suitors out here and all these guys and I'm having to, and I have to stop you to get you to be definite to get you to tell the complete story. You got one guy who said it would be nice to get married and we could get married, but he's not produced a ring. And I go back to what I said. When he drops to one knee and produces a ring, then you can talk about he's offering you marriage. He ain't offering you nothing. He's offering you conversation. You can make it seem like you're in charge of something and you are picking and choosing. There ain't nothing to pick from. And and, and, so last, we, thing, and last thing, and last thing, this was a guy that you were that that you were entertaining before you got married to the last one, right? This is a do this is a do over, right? Which which individual are you speaking? The one you the one now? you're talking about now that you're dating and entertaining. Is this a new guy or is this a guy you knew? Because you said you had three guys. This guy, met... this this guy, no, I over my adult life thus far, three individuals have proposed marriage. I married one. Um, you say they proposed marriage. Okay, when you say, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said they proposed marriage. Proposal to me means they dropped on one knee and produced a ring. Did all three men do that? Not the last one. Then they didn't the propose. Last... Then he did not propose marriage. Okay, so are you saying that I should not entertain these individuals because there's no hope for a woman like me? Is that what you're saying? Because that's what I'm getting. Even if it is, because I'm, I'm, I'll am i say this, individuals of my standard and where I want to be in life, these in individuals are... Um, I would say trying to court me, but I don't entertain. Them. I understand the position that I've placed myself in being a single mom, being a mother of two boys from two different, you know, fathers and the um, age gap. I understand all of that. I understand that now when these things were happening. What is the question, man? Man, what is the question? The, the question is, should I entertain these individuals? Ma'am. Just can you wait get, until ma'am, I ma'am, can you get paid on a deal that you don't have signed? No. The, then you can't entertain payment. Ain't nobody offered a deal. Ain't nobody signed a deal with you. There's nothing to entertain. What are you talking about? You're using all these words like you're in charge of something. There ain't no deal signed. There ain't no money on coming. This is you, you're forecasting shit. You're forecasting. Let's get business. You're forecasting sales that you haven't closed. How about that? That clear enough for you? You're forecasting stuff you haven't closed. They just talking. Ooh, I sure would like to sign with you. Man, that insurance price will look good. Yeah, well, proposal look good. Yeah, let, keep come back to my office. Let's talk about it. Yeah, bring those donuts and coffee. Yeah, let's run through it again. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sign on the line. No, no, no. I went out to the signature part, but let's talk about it. Can you deposit that shit in the bank? No, because it has not been closed. I know what I'm talking about. And I told you at the beginning, no man that's a high value man who can't is going to take on making a half million more seriously going to do this not with options no and the guy you're talking about is he making half a million dollars no he's not how much is he making right around 56 maybe Bish, you sat here and wasted my time for this. Seriously, because I've been going down this path. I got men to do it. Get off my phone, baby.
I apologize to uh, the ladies out there with some sense. But see, these women out there make it bad for y'all. Lady, understand something. You have no options. This nigga make $56,000 a year. You talking like he's a half million dollars. You're a bust down. The stuff you talking about, you ain't got. You don't have no $500,000 agency. And I'm going to tell you, you don't have the mentality to get it. You're a baby mama with two kids by two different Negroes. You don't even have the guts enough to put them on child support. Dude's supposed to come in and make all this kind of money. The wife, you, and you ain't going to even give him a kid. You're a whole fucking wreck, man. I swear to God. And she was serious, though. <laughs> I got options. I'm entertaining this and that. I tell you, man, you, you guys better learn how to ask questions and get to the, get to the nitty gritty. Because these, these sociopaths are out there. These sociopaths are out there. You best get real. Uh, ladies, ladies, I'm going to say something. I need you guys to close your ears. Ladies, please close your ears. Okay? And five, four, three, two, one, zero. CIA men, do not stick your dick in crazy do not entertain crazy. Do not talk to crazy. Avoid crazy. Have you ever had one of the little gas sniff meters? You need to get a crazy meter. Because that bitch was crazy. Talking like she really somebody. I, I, a woman on my level in my schedule. You say you a 10? Smith. Sm sm Sound like you smoke about 10 packs of cigarettes a week. That's what I mean. Ooh, that's so sexy. Yeah, you can take care of my 10-year-old and my one-year-old, but you can't, you can't discipline them. No, I ain't going to have you no babies. Yeah, you need to make a half a million dollars because one day I'm going to be rich. Then I decide I'll open the floodgates and I, when it levels up, I'll keep going. Some of y'all gonna get your feelings hurt out there. You gonna get your feelings hurt out there. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let me help you get back to reality. No, you don't have any options. I, all these guys I'm entertaining and I got proposals. Has anybody ever produced a ring? No, ain't nobody produced a ring. Anybody proposed? No, uh, delusional. Only thing I can say is I hope you were a troll because if not, <laughs> hell no, hell to the no no. I need that. I need that sound from hell to the no no to the no no to the no no no. And then, ladies, I need you to understand. This is some of the crazy shit, guys. Are, this is why. I mean, imagine somebody run into this person, man, talking this foolishness. One day when I become an agent, you know how unlikely it is. Yeah, it's possible to make four hundred fifty thousand. Get out of here with this bullshit. We up out of here, man. I got things to do. In conclusion, Kevin Samuels gave the caller a tough reality check about her prospects of dating a high value man. The caller was not prepared for the truth, but it was an important lesson to learn. The conversation showcased the importance of being realistic about one's expectations and not settling for less. Don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking discussions on the Relationship Report.